Blessings, dear people of God. Here we are again, another glorious season of Lent. This weekend we are challenged. We're challenged to look at scripture that we're very familiar with and ponder it in a different way. We look at the first reading, Adam and Eve, and the introduction of original sin. We know the story. But have you ever wondered when God said, where are you? Was he truly looking for a geographical location? I suggest that God was asking, where are you in relationship to me? Because we were tight. We were in communion. But something is different now. When we look at the gospel reading, again, the temptation of Jesus in the desert. We've heard it. We know it. But have you ever wondered what he was truly trying to show us and tell us? Those temptations are the same that Israelites faced with Moses in the desert. They failed. And Jesus gave us the blueprint on how to succeed. Some say, but well, that means nothing to me now. That's archaic. But I would suggest that it means a lot to us now. It touches on everything that we are survival, nourishment, our place in the world. And yet Jesus looked at it and said, this is the way. The word of God, that's what we need to rely on. Not challenging God, understanding his desire for us to be the best version that we could possibly be and not get in the way. Those are, I remember as a young man and going length after length and desiring, what shall I give up this year? Well, I suggest to you that possibly it's not what I give up, but what I actually give. Jesus said it very clearly in the Sermon on the Mount. He said, when you give alms, when you pray, when you fast, Notice that he did not say if, he said when. And he finished it by saying, do it so that no one takes notice but your heavenly father. It's interesting that he would say alms first. For you see, in the poor, we find Jesus. He said it himself. When you do this to the least of me, you're doing it for me. So this Lent, I might suggest, give a little bit more. Give a little bit more time in prayer. Give a little bit more to the poor. Fast from the world, not from things. And maybe we can answer the question when God asks, where are you? Thank you. Have a blessed Lent.